Five now? Yep. Okay. And we greet you from the USA Regional Training Center at Virginia Beach, home of CHKD Sports Medicine, and the site of the 2023 USA Field Hockey National Club Championships presented by YOLO Sportswear. The gold medal match for the U19 division is here on this hot and sunny Saturday on this first day of July. Matthew Hatfield here with you, and it's a matchup between two heavyweight programs, WC Eagles and the Sky Blue Jerseys looking to make some more history as they have won four in a row in terms of this USA National Club Championship at the U19 level. They come in unblemished on the tournament with a record of 5-0, 29 goals scored, two allowed, taking on AGH, a program that is quite established as well. They're also 5-0 with 27 goals scored, just four surrendered to this point. And we'll give you the rosters for both of these squads in just a moment. AGH with the red numerals, the white jerseys, while WC Eagles in their traditional sky blue with the gold numerals, almost reminiscent with that powder blue of the uh, Chargers in pro football. So here we are ready for the 15 minute first quarter to begin in the face off. As we see, excuse me, the draw I should say. As we are ready for this one to get underway and it's gonna be controlled first, the possession by AGH. And let's tell you the two rosters beginning with AGH under coach Alexandru George in numerical order. Zero is Kelly Jansen at Old Greenwich, Connecticut, number two. It's class of 2023, prospect Sienna Tishpal out of Greenwich, Connecticut, headed to Yale. Number three, Clara Mueffleman, Mueffleman out of Riverside, Connecticut, Boston College bound from the class of 2023. Also from the class of 2023 out of Wilton, Connecticut is Harvard bound Charlotte Casaragi. Number five, Emma Nahan out of Westport, Connecticut. Number eight, Delfina Gonzalez-Lobo out of Old Greenwich who is going to Columbia. Number 10, Gianna Caldero, New Canaan, Connecticut's own. She's headed to Yale from the class of 2024. Number 13 is Leticia Cardellari. She had a Greenwich, Connecticut, class of 2023 product headed to Harvard. Number 15 is Sophia Fadago Schiapp out of Westport, Connecticut. Number 23, Blake Wilkes, class of 2024 from Darien, Connecticut, who was committed to Cornell. As we watch early on here, Reese DiRiano for WC Eagles and tries to get a shot off. It goes out of play. Uh, we left off with Blake Wilkes going to Cornell. Number 24 is Catherine Nemec, class of 2023, who is going to Stanford from the state of Connecticut as well. Polly Parsons Hills, class of 2023 from New Canaan, going to Cornell. She wears number 25. 31 is Ellie Goldstein from West Hartford, Connecticut, a 2024 Maryland commit. 32, Ashley Stockdale from Darien, Connecticut, class of 2024, who's going to Duke. 38, Mackenzie Bloom from West Hartford, Connecticut. Grace Almeida from New Canaan wearing 44. And then rounding out the roster, you have number 94, Charlotte Nemec from Darien, Connecticut. Number 96, Emma Larratt from Westport. And number 98, Olivier Capaniti from Rye, New York. I'll give you the WC Eagles unit here momentarily. But we've got our first penalty corner of the afternoon and it's gonna be for WC Eagles around the 12 and a half minute mark here. As we watch in goal there, number 98, Olivia Campaniti. WC Eagles getting it in off the deflection, trying to get another opportunity, and they will do just that. So here comes a second opportunity now. I believe that was number 46 in the middle of your screen there for WC Eagles, Sailor Malone out of Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, who drew that second one. From straight away, there's a goal. Put it on the board for WC Eagles with 11.45 to go in the opening period as they score off a penalty corner. The second one does the trick for them here in this opening frame as they're able to strike and score. One to nothing now the tally. 
He's able to find the back end of the cage. And deliver one home. Couldn't quite tell if that was Dieriano or if that was someone else. Based on their alignment from the previous sequence, I'm not sure that it was. So 10 and a half minutes to go in the first period. Let's give you the roster rundown for WC Eagles here as they've got it around midfield. They'll lose the handle though. And trying to get a breakaway was Clara Muffelman, the BC signing. So for WC Eagles under Coach Richard Kentwell as we watch them operate along the near side. And that one rolls out. In numerical order for them, goalkeeper number two, Kaya Chapeau, class of 2024 from Darlington, Pennsylvania, is a Duke commit. Number three, Raleigh Savage from Charlotte, North Carolina. Number four, Sabrina McGrody from Mickleton, New Jersey. Number six, Rachel Herbine from McCungie, class of 2023, Pennsylvania native, is Iowa bound. Number nine, Ellen Almeida from Westchester, Pennsylvania. She's a class of 2023 talent going to the University of Pennsylvania. They have another one going to the University of Pennsylvania we'll tell you about in just a bit. Number 10 is the midfielder and forward, I should say midfielder and defender, Abigail Burnett out of Zionsville, Pennsylvania. That class of 2023 prospect is headed to Michigan. Number 14, Ella Barbacci from Harvey's Lake, Pennsylvania. Number 16, Sophia Ferry from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. We watched her just the other day in the U16 Final Four. It took place on Wednesday here at the training center. And there's Dieriano, who we'll talk about in just a bit. She's been a factor in the U14 and U16 each of the past two years, in fact, as this WC Eagles program has been loaded with talent. Heading on to the next level, they're going to pull it back into their own territory and try to create something. Number 20 is Emily Kirshner. Chapel Hill, North Carolina native, class of 2023, headed to Northwestern. Short corner area there for Sydney Mandato. We'll tell you about her in just a second. And she is the aforementioned other University of Penn product. But back in numerical order, we mentioned Kirster's number 20. Number 23 is Erica Culp from Birdsboro, Pennsylvania, who is headed to UConn. Number 26, Eva Nemeth out of Malvern, Pennsylvania. Nadia Nemeth, her sister from Malvern, is wearing 27. Number 28, Abigail Jerdeman from Chester Springs, Pennsylvania, wears 28. Number 31, Opal Sparling from Chester Springs, Pennsylvania, scored just the other day for WC Eagles in their 4 0 shutout win in the U16 championship. 34, Reese Dieriano from Westchester, Pennsylvania. She's had herself quite a week here at the training center and is one of the most decorated talents in all of field hockey in America. Number 35, Lily Wojcik from New Freedom, Pennsylvania. Number 36, Sydney Mandano from Telford, Pennsylvania, class of 2023 prospect going to UPenn. Midfielder Gia Whalen out of Paoli, Pennsylvania, wears 37. Autumn Kernickel out of PA, wears 41. Kerry McCormick, as we watch into the shooter circle, a shot from straight away, get blocked. Good job defensively for AGH, but Kerry McCormick, number 45 for WC Eagles out of Haddonfield, New Jersey. A defender from the class of 2023 will play right here locally at Old Dominion University. Number 46, Sailor Malone from Bryn Mawr, PA. UNC commit from the class of 2024 is Malia Weber. She had a McCungie, Pennsylvania, and she wears 53. Then rounding out the roster, a couple of goalkeepers. Natane King out of Harvard, Pennsylvania, wearing 86, and Hella Silverstein out of Glenwood, Maryland, wearing 88 class of 2023 talent going to Michigan. So those are your rosters. If you'd like a full view, you can see it up on the USA Field Hockey site as well, teamusa.org or usafieldhockey.com for all of that. So we watch AGH now try to get on the attack here, and they're on the move with Ellie Goldstein. Goldstein passes up ahead, gets it away from a defender, finds Mackenzie Bloom. Bloom trying to threaten to the shooter circle. 
Little crossover action move. Loses the handle, it gets poked out. And it will roll near, near midfield where WC Eagles will pick it up. Out of the reach though of, looks like that's Erica Culp who tried to get to it. Along the near sideline, a couple of substitutions now for WC Eagles. As Culp will check out. As will number three, Raleigh Savage. Right there in front of Coach Kentwell. Jumping in front of it alertly is number 36, Sydney Mandato. But back comes AGH with Leticia Cartelli. Cartelleri, excuse me, with the handle now. Nifty maneuver as we watch. Lee Wojcik and company try to operate into the front. Very steamy Saturday here in July on this, I guess you can call it Independence Day weekend. A little pass into the center circle with Mendado. Diariano battling for it with number 16. I think that was 16. I don't see one on my roster sheet for AGH. Eighty-eight degrees outside on this Saturday. Diariano has it from the wing, taken away by Gianna Caldero. Humidity makes it feel like it's ninety-four. The sun won't set until eight twenty-seven p.m. Eastern tonight here in Virginia Beach. It's three fifty Eastern as we speak to you with four seventeen to go in the first quarter. Not as much of a breeze as there's been in some previous days and weeks here. Across Hampton Roads on the near sideline, maintaining possession. Good job for Mendado. Mendado fakes left, tries to go back right, and steered away from the AGH defense, which has collected itself after that penalty corner earlier on in the period. Put WC Eagles in front around the 11:45 mark of our opening quarter. There is. Leticia Cartelleri up ahead to Muffelman. Muffelman trying to use her quick twitch and she's doing it nicely until it rolls out. So we've got our first corner of the afternoon now for AGH. Yeah. Off the rebound, what a job there as AGH is gonna score. And we're tied up. One to one with two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Put it on the board for Clara Muffelman. And she's able to answer it. Off the penalty corner. So we've seen two goals off penalty corners. And staying with the play off the first initial shot, getting the rebound and scoring it. We're deadlocked now here at the training center. And now with Muffelman on the move, trying to get her team another chance. Like that initial shot went into number four, her teammate, Charlotte Kasaragi, the Harvard bound product, but the future Boston College Eagle stepping up. Muffelman in a big way there. Some substitutions moments ago as I believe we saw Sienna 
Tish Paul, Ray Son, among the trio of new faces onto the pitch here. AGH getting to it with Grace Almeida. This WC Eagles outfit has been dominant at every age division. Nine consecutive U16 titles. I believe we said the other day it was eight, but we understand it's nine. 11 consecutive U14 titles. They're seeking their fifth in a row. 2017, the last time they didn't come through with the gold when they had this event. 2020, they did not because of the pandemic, obviously. Did finish silver runner-up in 2016. And they're trying to get their eighth crown since 2013. But AGH with other ideas as they've quickly turned the tide now and they're threatening near the net with multiple white shirts around the goal as we have hit under 30 seconds to go in this first quarter on a very hot day to begin the month of July. Athletes staying plenty hydrated though thanks to Gatorade, the official hydration station for the National Club Championships. Gatorade Gatorade is located at each field here. Field two right behind field one and also over there at the Princess Anne Athletic Complex. And one quarter is in the books. We're deadlocked with AGH and WC Eagles. Reese Ariano and Clara Muffelman, each with goals off the penalty corners. We're gonna step aside and hear from one of our presenting sponsors. That's YOLO Sportswear. You only live once. Here's more from YOLO. Hi, my name is Chris Fector, and I'm the owner of YOLO Sportswear. For 27 years, we've proudly partnered with USA Field Hockey, supporting this sport we love. We attend and sponsor multiple events throughout the year, selling licensed USA Field Hockey apparel and accessories, which is also available on our website, yolosportswear.com. We're looking forward to seeing you out on the road. Make sure you stay up to date. Follow us on Instagram. At CHKD, sports medicine is more than just treating injuries. It's a whole team approach to caring for young athletes. With experienced physicians, surgeons, trainers, and rehab specialists here when kids and teens need them most. Our experts help young athletes prevent injuries too with advanced training and conditioning programs that keep them in the game safely. CHKD Sports Medicine, where kids are more than patients and we're more than a hospital. That's right, Freddy's is at your fingertips. And hey, you get a free steak burger when you download the app. Experience delicious cook to order food, rich and creamy frozen custard churn throughout the day at Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. It's located in Virginia Beach, Hampton, Chesapeake, and Williamsburg, the taste that brings you back. And we're right here in Virginia Beach on this 90 degree day on the 1st of July. Got a good one here with the second quarter underway between WC Eagles and AGH in this. 2023 U19 USA National Club Championships for field hockey at the home of CHKD Sports Medicine. Just heard from CHKD moments ago, we're in Virginia Beach. It's also the site of this USA Field Hockey National Club Championship presented by YOLO Sports where you only live once and AGH in the sky blue coming in having only allowed two goals. Now it's their third goal as AGH was able to get on the board on a penalty corner late in the first period with two and a half minutes to go. WC Eagles though trying to respond here. Had a little bit of a breakaway opportunity but that one will rule out of play about a minute going by here in this second quarter. A lot of the players for AGH are either bound for Ivy League schools or signed, committed with them. You know, so much the signing thing is different with Ivies than opposed to your other institutions around the country but certainly very prestigious universities like Yale, Harvard, Columbia, Cornell. I believe they have at least six players that are s headed there or committed to go to their, those schools. And about 10 or so, maybe 10 plus for Coach Richard Kentwell's WC Eagles 
going to schools Division One level for field hockey. As we watched, just almost basically shoving out of the way there. Even Emmeth wanting to say, "Get out of my territory here." Um, various places we mentioned running on the rosters, such as Iowa, Michigan, Northwestern, Connecticut, Old Dominion, Duke. Do have a couple going to the University of Penn in the Ivy. Certainly right now, AGH has held up. They came in with 27 goals scored, just four allowed. They know they can play and compete with this WC Eagles group that has been dominant before in this setting. Earlier this week, winning by commanding margins 11 to one on Sunday in the U14 championship that was halted at the break due to weather. Four to nothing in the U16 title match that we had on Wednesday here where they were able to blank Freedom Hockey in the bronze medal match it was mayhem outlasting Spirit of USA 5 to 1 on Wednesday coming up after this one we have the bronze medal match here on our YouTube channel through USA Field Hockey subscribe to it get notifications and watch archive broadcasts It'll feature Freedom HKY that we just referenced taking on Spirit of USA. Nice cut there as they're able to find Moeffelman. A couple of players basically running into each other in terms of space and area. And now a battle for it will net the first penalty corner of this second quarter as it'll be AGH trying to go ahead here and put WC Eagles in a rare deficit. So we'll see what can come of this chance for AGH for them to try to get it back to Moeffelman on this entry feed. They get it into Kazaragi, tries to dump it off to Sophia Fidalgo Schiappa curling around is Catherine Nimick, the Stanford signee. And they don't get that one to result in a goal just yet, but they'll maintain possession into the attacking third area. Oh, and that one just rolls away from the net. So now a side in here coming up for WC Eagles as they'll try to dig out of their own end. Scooting it by Moeffelman and deep down the field. Now we watch the restart for Kazaragi and AGH. Inside their own 25, they dig out. But the pass up ahead around midfield is going to be taken by WC Eagles as they try to regain control. But they're having a harder time maintaining long possessions or getting those quick runouts that they've demoralized their opposition so frequently with. Soft feed into the corner. Under nine and a half minutes to go in the second quarter now. Trying to escape the defensive pressure of Caldero. It's a little bit of a breeze now. You see some of those USA field hockey banners moving. Has to feel good on this hot surface. Looks like that's Ava Nemeth making a dump off. Going down and drawing the corner, it's going to be a nice job by Erica Culp, the UConn pledge. We'll actually get the shot on goal, penalty stroke rather. Coming up with Reese Ariano set to be that 
Shot on goal for the attacking team. Here's DiAriano. And it's blocked. Great job in the goalkeeper to keep that one from getting through. What a job as you see the teammates coming over to high five. Emma Nahan approving of that. As they're able to stop WC Eagles from getting what was a golden opportunity here with eight plus minutes to go in the second quarter. The Ariano one on one, you take your chances with her more times than not, but great job in net for the AGH goalkeeper, Olivia Caponiti. She on the field hockey roster at Princeton. Another Ivy League talent. Mom went to Villanova, dad went to Boston College, older sister Madeline graduated from BC. Older sister Isabella graduated from Wake Forest. Older brother Harrison played football and lacrosse at Princeton. And older brother Henry plays lacrosse at Georgetown. So it is a rich family household there of the Caponides. Olivia going to Sacred Heart Greenwich High School. Was a five-year varsity field hockey starter. Holds the school record for saves. Also four-time varsity basketball and lacrosse player. WC Eagles trying to get another crack at it though with a little more than six and a half minutes to go in the second period. Along the near side they find DiAriano racing past a couple of defenders. What a pass, a no look variety it looked like. And then they'll dump one off to go in front as WC Eagles didn't waste long to break the tie. And it's two to one with 6.20 to go in this second period. Nice little give and go action that was Jump started by DiAriano, and they get on the board quickly. So WC Eagles able to quickly score after that penalty stroke came up empty they were able to capitalize on that chance on the run now we're getting tangled up though it's going to be WC Eagles with Erica Culp. That one's going to smack off the side with Culp getting a good whack at it. That one high in the air. Trying to squeeze it through. Riley Savage, I think, last getting a look at it. A beautiful assisted goal in that last sequence moments ago that put them in the lead. Now AGH trying to get back on the run here. Pass to the near side. Nice job of laying the stick out, but once again, the defense well positioned to deny. As we watch now at the side in with Delfina Gonzalez Lobo. She a Columbia team member. Racing towards it. Oh, and a nice cutoff there out of nowhere for AGH. What a brilliant job. I believe that was number 44 for them, Grace Almeida. Just coming out of nowhere to stop them rolling downhill.
We'd like to tell you here with a little more than three minutes to go until halftime that all the games from the U14, U16, and U19 divisions for this USA National Club Championships of Field Hockey as we've closed out the month of June and began the month of July. They're being recorded by NLV Productions. You can order packages online anytime by logging on to www.nlvproductions.com. That's nlvproductions.com. Thank them for their work this week in making that possible. Here's Reese DiRiano on the move. A trio of white shirts trying to stay up with her. And DiRiano says, good luck with that goal. 2.42 to go in the second quarter. WC Eagles in the lead. Three to one. We'll fix our scorebook for you in just a moment. that taken care of as W. Eagles looks to try to build on this lead. So right now, W.C. Eagles with two goals after AGH seem to have momentum. They got that goal late in the first period with Muffelman off the penalty corner. They actually began this second quarter with a penalty corner and had a chance to take the lead. A couple of good looks at it, but even though WC Eagles came up empty on the penalty stroke with DiAriano, they had a nice transition play, good feed on the move, and then DiAriano just showing her brilliant skills on the break. And uh, thanks to Nick, we've got that fixed for you as our score bug is working now with about a minute 15 to go until halftime. WC Eagles with a three to one lead here as they chase what would be their fifth championships of the U19 division in a row. Here on the move, AGH on the breakaway. They'll get it over to, as things slow down, looks like that is number 38, Mackenzie Bloom. And then it rolls out of play with under a minute to go in our second quarter. Very warm day here on this turf. And since 1965, the AstroTurf brand has been driven by forward thinking ingenuity. AstroTurf continues to improve its system design to deliver playing services with the most realistic sports specific performance, longest lasting durability, and sound player protection. You'll hear, from Astro, you'll hear more from AstroTurf and some of our other supporters and sponsors coming up at halftime. And we'll tell you what's on tap with our bronze medal match and more here at this USA National Club Championships. Oh, there's a poke away and now a chance for WC Eagles to get something working. They get it up ahead. It's going to be pulled in here on the run by Opal Sparling, part of that U16 championship team. And as time expires, that one will go airborne and hit the back of the fence. And we've reached intermission. WC Eagles with a couple of goals here in the second period to turn what was a 1-1 tie after one quarter into a two-goal lead. It is the U19 gold medal match here at the USA Regional Training Center, home of CHKD Sports Medicine in Virginia Beach, and it's presented by YOLO Sportswear. We'll come back with the third quarter in just a little bit right here on usafieldhockey.org and on our YouTube streaming channel. Hi, my name's Chris Fector, and I'm the owner of YOLO Sportswear. For 27 years, we've proudly partnered with USA Field Hockey, supporting this sport we love. We attend and sponsor multiple events throughout the year, selling licensed USA Fit Hockey apparel and accessories, which is also available on our website, yolosportswear.com. We're looking forward to seeing you out on the road. Make sure you stay up to date. Follow us on Instagram. After more than 50 years of innovation, AstroTurf still leads the way. The inventor of artificial turf does it all, right here in the USA. We engineer, test, manufacture, and install the world's most innovative fibers and turf technologies with over 30,000 tracks and fields worldwide. AstroTurf, powered by Sport Group.
That's right, vaultathleticsandfitness.com. The Vault Fitness Facility is Hampton Roads' newest 13,000 square foot facility located in the hilltop section of Virginia Beach where they specialize in youth athlete development, personal training, small group training, and specialty fitness classes, Vault Athletics and Fitness. One of the proud sponsors of this 2023 USA National Club Field Hockey Championships presented by YOLO Sportswear at the USA Regional Training Center here in Virginia Beach. You can get the Tourney Machine app. Also go to USA Field Hockey's webpage at usafieldhockey.com for so much more when it comes to all the action here with USA Field Hockey. Uh, but the Tourney Machine app giving you all the updates when it comes to standings and scores and schedules. And when you log on to USA Field Hockey, the website at teamusa.org backslash USA, you will see all that you have available at your fingertips when it comes to everything with the U14, U16, U19 divisions and more about USA Field Hockey's mission and all that it encompasses. We have a bronze medal match coming up after this with the spirit of USA and Freedom Hockey. But let's hear again from another one of our sponsors at this time. It's Shine Time Power Wash and Paint Professionals. Revitalize your property today. Shine Time is your turnkey solution for all power washing and painting projects. With years of experience in both residential and large scale commercial settings, their focus is to bring new life to your home, building, or outdoor space and ensure 100% customer satisfaction every time. Shine Time Power Wash. Wait, hold up. DQ put fries and onion rings in a chicken strip basket? I mean, you got fries and onion rings together. Is this for wait, real? Wait, wait. Oh yeah, I just got really real. DQ, happy tastes good. Well, it's everybody's favorite time of year again. Time to prepare to make your annual donation to that infernal revenue service. And if you're like me, you need help. Help to keep that donation as small as possible. So get off your W-2 and call John Maynard at John's Tax Service. 455-6763. Period now underway as possession is initially taken by WC Eagles, but AGH comes up with it. And here they are on the move as we begin the second half. A couple of goals scored from WC Eagles in that second period. About a three minute and 38 second differential in terms of time. And now WC Eagles working from right to left. They have it. Getting close to the net, but then losing the handle. I believe that was number three for them, Riley Savage. But still in scoring range. Nifty pass, though, by number 46, Sailor Malone. As she found a teammate close to the net, but didn't have the proper angle to try to send one towards the back end. Here comes WC Eagles looking to add to its lead. As we begin to hit the dog days of summer. One of the hottest days of this nine day top 48 club teams competing across the country here in the Commonwealth of Virginia to see who's the very best of the best. Another good find, but 
the opportunity ends after Malia Weber, the McCungy, Pennsylvania product. Got to look at it. UNC commit from the class of 2024. And now Weber, D'Ariano and company get set defensively. There's Savage going to chase over. AGH getting it quickly to Catherine Nimick. Now trying to race forward here. Looking to find somebody, but that one's going to be out of reach as the speed defensively is catching up. Couldn't quite connect to Clara Mueffelman on the move, racing towards the net. Here's Nemec. And her stick down with the pass. And again, very steady play here from WC Eagles. Defensively to contain them. space out the defense and pass it around now. WC Eagles working the far sideline. I believe that was one of the Nemeth sisters who had that pass. And Eva Nemeth. Now all under 11 minutes to go in his third quarter. EGH sensing that things are getting a little dicey here for them. Savage rolling away. And Capaniti ready for it. Once again, nothing doing on that sequence. Some really spirited play from number 46 out there, Sailor Malone. For WC Eagles. Especially here in this third period. ranked team in Pennsylvania this past year. Scored four goals in a game last December. So she can be a goal threat with that red hair. You're watching out there now we see AGH try to turn momentum. It's going to be up to Charlotte Kazaragi, the Harvard commit to Get them out of their own end here quickly. See if she can find someone cutting. You've got Charlotte Nemec, number 94 on the right wing side for them. In the middle of your picture, Ashley Stockdale Duke commit. We've not talked about her a ton in this match. Maybe she can make a spark play. There as they get into the attacking third, but only for a brief moment as that one was away from, I believe, an intended target of Mackenzie Bloom. Now WC Eagles reversing field quickly. Emma Nahan trying to swipe it away. And that one's going to be chased down the corner, but once again saved wonderfully by Malone. Keeping possession alive for WC Eagles to try to Add that insurance goal here at four to one. AGH started this event off with an eight to one victory over Focus on Thursday morning on field two here at the training center. Then blanked Excalibur five to nothing on Friday. Got a six to two win over IF 
HCK. A 6-1 to one win over the Saints. And then from there, after the 6-1 to one win over the Saints, they started today out with a 2-0 shutout of Spirit of USA. Malone up ahead. Nice pass, finds Diariano who loses it. Well, the rare time she does. Big reason why the defender was in the way, Nemec. Feet across the way. WC Eagles got to this point at 5 0 by defeating Shorebird 7 0, NJ Grit 7 0, both on Thursday. A 9-0 victory over the Saints on Friday and then a 5-1 win over IFHCK. Had a close battle with Freedom HKY 1-0 earlier today in the semifinals. And a few times we see them score less than three goals, let alone just having a one goal output. We mentioned the Saints. The Saints along with Tokoyo, a couple of the rosters that have a lot of local flavor from this Tidewater area, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Pocosin, Hampton, Newport News, dotting those rosters from Virginia. And here on the move now, AGH with a chance. A couple of defenders in the way, though, of Mo Wuffelman. And she'll get stopped. And now we'll watch WC Eagles with Autumn Kernickel. Go race over to grab possession for her team. So they go into Gio Wayland, they'll pull it out and go the opposite direction. On the near side, some crisp passing here. Defender takes a tumble on the move, Ella Barbacci. She'll hand it over to Sophia Ferry. Ferry on that U16 squad that made it nine titles in a row. You see in our camera view, action going on behind the athletes here. And that, of course, is on field two, where they've got a matchup taking place during this gold medal match, and that features Northeast Elite playing Texas Pride. That is the fifth place game. Coming up after we are done, it'll be the bronze medal match with Freedom HKY and Spirit of USA. Saints will take on IFHCK on field two at that time. Here's Diariano. Gonna dump it off. And what a job that almost was for an assist. Thought it was for sure it would be an assist, but instead it ricochets out. So as we tick under four minutes to go in our third period, we wanna thank John's Tax Service, a proud community supporter of local youth sports, providing tax preparation and retirement planning services, John's Tax Service and JPM Financial Services have been serving all of Hampton Roads for more than 20 years. We're the best, thanks to you, John's Tax Service. WC Eagles. Another patient here on this sequence. See some passing as Abigail Burnett found Lulu Wojcik. And now AGH loses the handle yet again. You do wonder if they're getting worn down just a tad. Here on the side end, a couple of substitutions now as I believe we see number 24 race on for AGH and Catherine Nemec. 
Will it become a war of attrition in the closing minutes? That is a good question. Savage looking to pounce along with a couple of her teammates defensively here for WC Eagles. And that one's going to roll away from AGH's Blake Wilkes, number 23. The Cornell commit from the class of 2024 out of Darien, Connecticut. Here's the Ariano. Beg your pardon, that was not the area, that was number 14, rather, Ella Barbacci. And there's Barbacci again. Another goal is going to be scored here as Savage comes through. Riley Savage stepping up, I believe she got that feed. Last second from, uh, might have been Opel Sparling. So Riley Savage with his third quarter goal. I believe that was Sparling and Savage teaming up to make it happen. With about a minute 40. In our third quarter, WC Eagles stretching out the lead to four to one. They haven't had a penalty corner since those back-to-back -back ones that they got in the first period. Right around the 12 minute mark. AGH has had one each in the first and second quarter, but doubtful they'll get one here in this third quarter. It's really been a nip and tuck affair until that goal right there and now Barbacci and company trying to get more and see if they can take advantage of a weakness area a sore spot and there's going to be a penalty corner the first since the opening frame now for WC Eagles as they'll tick down the end of this quarter So the third quarter about to come to a close. It's going to be put in here by Sophia Ferry. And that one's going to be wide of the net as time expires, believe by Sparling on that shot attempt. So three quarters in the books. WC Eagles one quarter away from claiming a fifth straight gold medal in this 2023 USA National Club Field Hockey Championship presented by YOLO Sportswear. You only live once. Hi, my name is Chris Fector, and I'm the owner of YOLO Sportswear. For 27 years, we've proudly partnered with USA Field Hockey, supporting this sport we love. We attend and sponsor multiple events throughout the year, selling licensed USA Field Hockey apparel and accessories, which is also available on our website, yolosportswear.com. We look forward to seeing you out on the road. Make sure you stay up to date. Follow us on Instagram.
So you just heard from One Life Fitness starting at $29.99 a month. One Life, One Inspired Life. They're here to help start your new membership today at any one of the eight convenient locations across Hampton Roads. You can go online to onelifefitness.com and claim a free trial pass. That is onelifefitness.com. All kinds of info on their locations, benefits, classes, training, sports, and so much more and find your home fitness with amazing cardio strength training unlimited boutique studio classes and sports and they have more ways to reach your fitness goals than anyone we're talking to you here from this 2023 usa national club field hockey championship presented by yolo sportswear at the usa regional training center in virginia beach home of chkd sports medicine where wc eagles have taking command in this matchup of 5 and 0 squads for the title it was 1 to 1 after one period of play they were able to get a couple of goals on the board to make it 3 to 1 and then 4 to 1 was the count as it was Opal Sparling finding Riley Savage so here we are in the fourth quarter and not looking as promising for AGH. Once again, with possession and causing a lot of havoc for AGH is Sailor Malone. Now AGH trying to get something created with Delfina Gonzalez Lobo, the Columbia product. But with those two goals at the 620 mark of the second quarter and the 242 mark, with Diariano striking meant a whole lot to get to halftime up three to one when it was a one one game and AGH thought they had momentum after that Clara Muffelman goal late in the first period. Now AGH trying to get to it with Emma Nahan. Looking to keep it away from a very aggressive WC Eagles group, Sofia Fidago Schiappa. Competed with the U16 national team in the Four Nations tournament in the Netherlands, in fact, did Fidago Schiappa. Pretty well established player that has been a real positive to this team. It's going to roll out of play with under 12 and a half minutes to go in regulation play. WC Eagles feeling much more comfortable here in cruising. They get it to Gia Whalen, the midfielder. Around midfield. Nice effort to try to grab it with the one hand and the stick, but D'Ariano's now got it. And she'll slice it up ahead. Nifty dump off. Trying to find someone cutting towards the net. Good job in net. And we're going to get a, another one on the board. A goal off a deflection here to make it 5-1. to one. Just when they thought they had stopped some of the bleeding, WC Eagles able to score again. Off the deflection. Couldn't quite tell who got that last one with about 11.35 to go in our game. But four unanswered goals now for WC Eagles, who drew first blood three minutes and 15 seconds into the gold medal tilt. Well, on the far sideline now to the middle of the field. Great job of passing up ahead and looking to find the open player, Rachel Herbine, got to it. The Iowa bound playmaker. Hey, 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 
AGH looking to draw their first penalty corner of the half, and they do just that. Comes with a little over 10 minutes to go. It's just their third of the game. And it looks like the one that's going to get it started for them will be Gianna Caldero, number 10. She's Yale bound. And that one comes up empty for AGH. WC Eagles starting to substitute some different faces in and out in an effort to stay fresh. Makes all the sense in the world. I think Sophia Ferry heading to that bench also looks like might be Sparling as well, subbing out. Around midfield now, WC Eagles trying to tightrope that sideline. Not a lot of room to operate over there, but they'll take the lead and be glad that they've got it. Nudged up ahead. And out of play. Eight ten to go. WC Eagles closing in on a championship. This would be their eighth since 2013. The last time they didn't win it was 2017. Just a machine this program has been year after year after year. And you gotta think about the fact that they had, I believe I read uh, just in their last class of 2022, 48 high school players announced their college destinations from this travel program. Quite a list. And an impressive history and resume they've put together. Trying to find a cutting Diariano. I think that was a quick dump off from her teammate in Malia Weber. Now AGH looking for number two, Sienna Tejpal, and a defender diving for it for WC Eagles. Now getting to it around midfield, it's gonna be number 14 again, Ella Barbacci. We've called her out a lot. She's been so quick out there, I've wondered if it was her or DiGiriano sometimes. Almost looking like twins on certain instances. Coach Kentwell providing some instruction to some of his players there. Taken away quickly by Gia Whalen. And now on the move again are the gals in powder blue and gold. AGH though coming up with a swipe. As we near six minutes to go in regulation play, it's gonna roll out of bounds. Again, our game being streamed, archived on USA Field Hockey's website, USA Field Hockey on YouTube. Subscribe, become more of the, one of the more than 5,000 individuals that are subscribing to it. TeamUSA.org, USAFieldHockey.com. Now it's the back of the fence. I want to remind you as well that all of these games for the U14, U16, and U19 levels are being recorded by NLV Productions. So you can order packages online anytime by going to nlvproductions.com. You can read some of the testimonials and get a visual for what they have with the highlight reels, the fast turnaround edits in-house, the profiles included in the multiple packages, plus it's mobile friendly. They got examples up there 
when you log on to nlvproductions.com. The uh, patron's going to get it. It went behind the fence. I think he was smiling. Probably, I, I hate to speculate, but he could be a, a, a parent or supporter fan of WC Eagles. A lot more happy faces for them right now at 5-1 to one than AGH, which has had a nice run in this tournament. 27 goals scored, 4 allowed coming in. But they've given up more in this game than the previous five combined. It tends to be the case when you play WC Eagles. This was a battle early. There's a step through and Grace Almeida on the move. Running by a defender. Can someone cut her off is the question. She tries to feed it to the center there, and it's just out of reach of her intended teammate. As WC Eagles will dodge a bullet there and up by four with a little bit more of a wind whipping on this hot and humid Saturday. Very encouraging to see. And trying to keep the rain away is a big deal. Number 33, getting a good look at it. That is for AGH. Looks like we don't have a 33. Excuse me, 38 now has it. Mackenzie Bloom. As the long, hot humidity is getting to me on this. First Saturday of July. Number 15's got it, and that is Sophia Fidalgo Schiappa. And it's going to go back the other way with WC Eagles leading by four goals here as we hit near two minutes to, that, to go. I know these young ladies want to celebrate for WC Eagles a gold medal and championship run. They have a good opportunity if they'd like to go stop at Tropical Smoothie Cafe where you can eat better and feel better. They're bursting with fresh flavors. They offer grab-and-go catering plus box lunches. Tropical Smoothie Cafe is right down the road from us on Princess Anne Road across the street from TCC. That's Tidewater Community College. Minute and change to go in this fourth quarter. Here's number 15, Sophia Fidalgo Schiappa. by the fence, that's WC Eagles' Alain Almeida. Hit up ahead, running towards it. Looks like this one's gonna sail out. getting to it for WC Eagles. That is Ella Barbacci. Now on 
on the run. Time running out. Blake Wilkson company not going to get a shot off. And it's in the books. Triple zeros on the clock and a 5-1 to one win for WC Eagles as they come through with another championship. This marks their fifth straight title and eighth since 2013 as the dynasty rolls on. Congrats to Coach Richard Kentwell and his young ladies on a job well done as they finish up the event 6-0, outscoring their foes by a total of 34-3. AGH concludes at 5-1. and one. They'll be the runner-ups in this event. That will conclude our broadcast here. It'll be a little bit more than nine minutes from now before we have our bronze medal match featuring Spirit of USA taking on Freedom HKY. I want to thank our entire team from Nick Sinti and Chuck Thornton to Ava Grace on camera. This is Matt Hatfield signing off, and it's a final here in the gold medal match at the training center. WC Eagles victorious by a count of 5-1. to one. We'll talk to you a little bit here. It's been the 2023 USA National Club Field Hockey Championships presented by YOLO Sportswear. Hi, my name is Chris Fector and I'm the owner of YOLO Sportswear. For 27 years, we've proudly partnered with USA Field Hockey, supporting this sport we love. We attend and sponsor multiple events throughout the year, selling licensed USA Field Hockey apparel and accessories, which is also available on our website, yolosportswear.com. We're looking forward to seeing you out on the road. Make sure you stay up to date. Follow us on Instagram.